Good morning, everybody. It's been a while. I know it has been a long time since we had a chat, but I haven't been feeling too well. I'm getting older, and uh, work and stress and all that stuff kind of catches up to you a little bit. So I haven't made time for the fun stuff like making videos it's uh i don't consider it a job i consider it fun but oftentimes i just get too caught up and don't make time for for things like this but today i i wanted to answer a question this is for my i guess it's for my new customers anybody interested in, in uh, having a new hvac system installed uh, the question is often asked to me uh, is about the efficiency of a system and uh, I'm not gonna go into uh, numbers and but I'm gonna tell you the homeowner more or less what you need to know there's a lot of things that factor into the efficiency of a system number one when you buy the system what kind of system is it is it a uh, conventional uh, in California right here on Los Angeles area your conventional system is going to be either a split system or a rooftop unit or a package unit it's going to be gas for it's going to use gas for heating but it's still called gas electric because uh, you push the air with electric motors but the heat source would be the gas we have not that many heat pumps, at least not in the residential areas. Um, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. When you have one of those systems, uh, it's gonna cost you more to, to heat and to cool. Uh, if before you only used a floor heater or a wall heater, that only uses gas. Now you're gonna be using electricity as well. So your electric bill is going to go up. Now, I can't tell you exactly how much more you're going to pay, but I know that in my house, my bill during the summer when I'm running my AC is going to be about maybe $400 or more. Uh, my house is not that big, it's 1,600 square feet. So just to give you a vague idea, I don't know what your electricity bill is and I don't know how much you pay per kilowatt hour and, but I'm telling you right now as of uh, January of 2020 that's how much I pay on average uh, if you get if you want something more economical then you probably want to go with a higher SEER rating but it's not gonna make that huge of an impact as someone might be selling you on it's not gonna cut that bill in half if some of my customers have asked about zoning system, what about a zoning system? The main reason that I would sell a zoning system would be for comfort. For example, a two-story home. Uh, you, upstairs is always going to be, during the summer, it's always going to be hotter than the downstairs. For obvious reasons, heat rises. So, if you put a zoning system, then it'll shut off the downstairs once that's cool and then it'll send the extra air to the upstairs and of course we'll balance it out with a bypass if necessary or we might bleed the zones but you don't care about that point is the zoning system will help with comfort levels not efficiency i have so many of my customers often tell me ah i installed the zoning system or i'm closing this vent know hoping because I'm only in that living room so I don't see you know the reason why I should have all these other ones being air conditioned when I'm only over there well the system doesn't know that you closed off those vents so it's not gonna matter it's still gonna go on full force hundred percent it's gonna give you hundred percent even let's say you have a two-stage system that that'll help and it's not gonna be day and night as far as your uh, the dollar amount that you're gonna pay on your bill goes so that's why I don't, you know, I don't make a big deal out of it, out of it, that 
to stage 16C or 14C, the bill is still going to be higher than you're used to. Now, comfort-wise, uh, it might be more comfortable uh, with a two-stage because you're not going to have the air full blast uh, when you're heating. Uh, it's going to be at a lower speed, it's going to be more quiet. So comfort, two-stage, yes. Um, efficiency, yes also, but not a huge significance. Not in, if you guys think differently, please post it in the comments. You know, other uh, installers or technicians, go ahead and post it in the comments what you think about that. But in my opinion, it's not gonna uh, be day and night. The other thing I wanted to touch on as far as efficiency goes, if you go with something like uh, Douglas mini split system, I think right now that's probably the most efficient systems that, that we have available out there because the compressor, the condenser will ramp up and wind down depending on the demand. So if you have, let's say you have five heads inside, one for each room, one for the living room, and you only have the living room unit on while that outdoor unit is not gonna come on full speed as if you had all five heads on. It's only gonna come up enough, uh, it's gonna ramp up enough to where it's gonna supply just that one head. So, efficiency wise, I would go with the Douglas Mini Split. Um, the only bad thing, the only thing that keeps a lot of my buyers, a lot of my customers from going with that is that you do have to have a unit mounted on your wall. That that's just it, you know. Um, there's no. That's the only con I would say when it comes to that, because the warranty now on a ductless is the same as you would have on a conventional system, ducted uh, conventional system, which is the 10 years or or even I know Daikin goes up to 12 years uh, on their top of the light models. So as far as efficiency goes, I would go with the Douglas Mini Split. Um, there are also um, conventional systems that that can ramp up and ramp down depending on demand, and, but they're just so expensive. I mean, at least here in California, from when I sell a, a conventional system, just even two stage with a 90 plus furnace, it's the price is so high that selling um, something more efficient than that it's just the customers look at me like I'm crazy with when I give them a price for one of those which uh, pretty much comes with the same technology as a topless mini splits where they will ramp up ramp down you know depending on demand you can even uh, have motorized dampers without bypasses and the system will ramp up I know carrier used to call some have something called uh, their infinity their infinity line right now though uh, I, I don't think they have those for California because right now uh, what they're doing is uh, they're, in, they're applying they're implementing actually it's an old law that had to go into effect as of October 1st which is um, ultra low ultra low knox furnaces and those are are not very variable uh, there's some companies that are making them uh, in two stage others are still working on it but as far as like an infinity type i don't think that's available yet uh, where they'll ramp up and ramp down depending on whether there's one zone or there's five zones on i don't think they're there yet so if there is i haven't heard of it so right now you can get single stage or two stage uh, because of this ultra low knox that was uh, put into effect as of October 1st. Uh, of, uh, what was it? 2019. So these things are also louder. So be ready for that. Just so all my customers know, all of these things, they, they're they not as quiet as, uh, as the old furnaces used to be, unfortunately. But it's not our fault, it's 
The EPA, that's what they're demanding, I guess. I don't know. I think it's the EPA. So ultra low NOx. And what we used to install was low NOx. Um, okay, so as far as efficiency goes, uh, digital thermostats also help because they have a, a faster, uh, they sense temperature faster, so they react faster. Then, oh, I went the wrong way. All right, I'm still going kind of the same the right way. So, efficiency, the other thing that plays into efficiency is the design. And I'm leaving it for last because I think, honestly, it's the most important. Efficiency is more uh, affected by the installation. I cannot tell you how many installations I go into where it's a four-ton system with a, a, a 16 inch return duct or a 14 inch return duct on a four ton system. A four ton system is good on average for up to a 1600 square foot home. Maybe do 400 um, square feet per ton, which is what we do here in, in, in LA. So if you put an undersized return that you're just choking the entire system it defeats the purpose um, the unit is no longer giving you four tons it is now struggling to try to keep up the new motors that come with the furnace it's forcing the motor to ramp up so that it can keep the the the, the static pressure and then so you can keep the, the sorry the volume of air uh, the same as it was designed for so design if your installation is done wrong it's not gonna work you have the wrong size duct you have long trunks with um that go uh you know some homes are really long and you run a main trunk you cannot run a main trunk line the same size for 50 feet and then branch off and expect to have the airflow that you expect to have um, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna work. So design is number one, you have to design the ducts. I actually, what I do is I size the room, uh, I factor in uh, the heat load for that room, and then, so I size the duct according to that, and then I work my way back. And I try not to go more than like 20 feet of any one particular size on the duct. If it's longer than 20 feet, then I bump the size up of that duct. So if I need a 6 inch duct over there, I'll go 20 feet and then I'll bump it up to 7. And then if it's still further than that, I'll bump it up to 8. Whatever it needs to be, even if it sounds ridiculous, that's what you do um, to get the right amount of airflow. There's so many times that I go into a home where they have an 8 inch duct and then they have other 8 inch ducts connected to it, it's ridiculous. That's not going to work. And my customer's number one complaint is, well, I don't have enough airflow. Okay, well, we need to redesign the ducts. Um, but they just had them replaced. So you see where I'm going with this? So design, design, design. And then the sear rating, I would say, is the next thing. But the design is the number one when it comes to efficiency. And that's, I saved it for last because to me that's the most important. I think to most of you that's the most important. But anyway, sorry. This is a, just a rambling on. It was a, a question that keeps coming up with my customers when it comes to efficiency. And I thought I'd just post a video. And I think I touched on all the angles. If not, put it in the comments. Let me know what I missed. And maybe I'll just make a video talking about that as well. Again, this is not technical. I'm not talking to technicians. I'm talking to possible you know, customers that are wondering uh, about efficiency. And I want to put it as in plain English as much as possible. Okay, so nice talking to y'all. And if you have any questions, post them. If not, see you in the next video. Have a great day.